Hello everyone, uh, this is Pradeep Kumar. In this video, I'm going to introduce about DevOps and uh, we will see the syllabus of Pilagam for DevOps. So, DevOps, what is DevOps? It is very simple actually. It is nothing but development plus operations equal to DevOps and it is not a job title or profession it is a culture which means you need to know about both in development and operations uh, let's see what is uh, what are the things we will done in development side and uh, operation side but generally devops is development plus operations automation and integration is the essential feature of devops yes uh, um, to learn more quickly, uh, you should know at least any one of uh, software development life cycle. If you know about that, you will learn quickly about DevOps. So, uh, uh, let's see that. Uh, what is uh, SDLC in next, next uh, Pilagam videos? And uh, DevOps will play a major role in software industry. To adopt DevOps, if you work on DevOps or if you know DevOps, the outcome is business benefits. So how how will you get the business benefits from DevOps? Let's see it. This is a overview of DevOps. As I said earlier, uh, you should know at least any one of uh, SDLC. If you know that, you will learn it quickly. But I'll tell from the scratch actually. So, SDLC is nothing, software development life cycle. So, to create a software, we should design the software, how it is. To design the software, we need the customer requirements, which means who, who need the software. For example, uh, take VLC media player. So, VLC media player is one of the most frequently used media player in worldwide because it supports most of the video codecs so that we are using VLC media player so this is a software but software engineers design the software to support all video most of the video codecs before designing software engineers collect the feedbacks from the user so which is planning so that is a plan so in plan we will get customer requirements and once done we will start designing once software designing done we will start coding once coding done so in the part coding once coding then we will build the software and test the software and we will release the software and uh, customer support team or technical support team will deploy the software on client end but test end and then users will operate the software and we will monitor this will not end it will continue devops is a <laughs> complete life cycle it will continuously run okay to simply know developer team and operation team will work together in devops culture just keep it keep this point in your mind for you to adopt a devops culture you need to know all the tools from developer team and operation team let's see uh, this syllabus will really help you let's see it so development let's see about development very simply very simply we'll see about development so software development process as I said, we'll get customer requirements. Once requirement done, we will start software designing. Once software designing done, we will start developing the software. To develop the software, we will we need to use some programming languages such as C, C++, Java, .NET, Python, anyone will use. So we will use this language to coding. Once everything done, we will come to operations. So in operations, 
we will do a testing of the software which we built uh, which we coded recently so in software testing support team will create the environment uh, mostly in cloud they will create a vm and uh, install some operating system platform like linux or windows or anyone and they will install and configure the build so once testing done everything is fine then we will move to client side which means we will sell the product software product to client then uh, customer will sign up for our support so in support we will do installation configuration and technical customer support so if client side if any issue happen we will provide our technical support to client okay this is what uh, normal basic development plus operations and so uh, let's see the pilgrim syllabus it will really help you to adopt a devops culture let's see it pilgrim syllabus first planning software planning to learn about sdlc we will teach you about agile so agile is uh, currently a trend in it software development so agile will really help you because it has uh, many advanced features in agile to know more just google it coding for coding we will teach you java and python both are uh, tremendous languages in 2017 so it it will really help you for continuous integration this is a very important part once coding is done this part will test the software deploy the software jenkins is a, a very important tool actually so we we'll learn about jenkins so how to use this tool in devops environment so testing for testing part we will learn selenium it is a automation part so it will automate the test scripts okay and one more thing uh this syllabus not in order so you can start from any topic maybe you have some uh, knowledge about java or python you can start from what you don't know okay and let's see the next deployment tools this is very important tools it is also under automation chef puppet and ansible this tool will help you to deploy the software in client environment or test environment we will write a script to install and configure the software in chef puppet and ansible platform you already know about that operating system administration for this we took linux and windows administrations so in linux particularly we took red hat and windows server 2012 or 16 uh, how we prefer it it's up to you and uh, monitoring yeah we took nakios nakios is a open source tool it will really help you to monitor the cloud environment or any private systems so for cloud so for cloud we took amazon web service and docker scripting oh man this is very important one in scripting you can automate your administration task which means operation support and task so this will really help you to reduce your jobs in administration end so once you write the code you don't need to worry about that 
it will automatically run on the time and it will provide the output as per your input in the script it is a really great tool you must learn about scripting in linux bash and in windows powershell so next version control github uh, github is a type of source code repository uh, once developer uh, write the code he will save the code in github from the github jenkins will took and build the software and test the software something like that so it's a complete cycle actually at last we are going to learn about issue tracking bugzilla if client or tester found the issue in, in our code they will um, raise a ticket in bugzilla and then it will assign it to developer so once developer free it, he will um, clear the issue in code software code so for now pilagram features are uh, government registered institute it professionals as trainers free demo class and more emphasis on practical sessions we will do more consultation in practical sessions so and you will get excellent unlimited lab facilities and uh, in your batch there are limited students more than uh, three or five that's all more than three or less than five and mock interviews bi-weekly tests will be conducted so it will really help you to uh, get your understanding about the topics and will provide you free video labs and real-time scenarios and projects you will do a real-time projects at the end of the course and most importantly this topics will cover under scenario so we'll get scenario based learning it is very important because current uh, IT interviews are asking questions via scenario for example so if you are working in Linux machine it will automatically rise the CPU percentage so what is the cause of this you like the questions will come so we'll, we'll, we will learn the same kind of uh, scenario based questions so we'll learn about scenario so do contact Pilagam so uh, this guy's name is Manikandan and he's a director of Pilagam. So his contact number is 8344777333. And uh, you can also send an uh, email to him to get the complete syllabus of DevOps. And, and if you found any uh, error in this video or wrong in this video, you can report him too. So don't hesitate to tell your feedbacks to Pilagam. Thank you for watching this video.